y'all, it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Swimsuit Saturday. This week we are featuring swimsuits for all and it is probably the most requested Swimsuit Saturday video I've gotten so far. I also get a lot of requests for swimsuits for all when it's not swimsuit season or when I'm not doing this Swimsuit Saturday series. That's a lot of S words, but you get the picture. So I've done a couple one I know for sure, a Swimsuits for All haul in the past, so I will link it down below. I also own a couple of swimsuits that I really like from Swimsuits for All, so I know that they're really great quality swimsuits, and the price can reflect that sometimes. Swimsuits for All is a little bit more pricey, but I don't think I've ever been on the website when there wasn't a sale going on. So if you see something you like, my suggestion is to wait it out because chances are that item will go on super sale pretty soon and you can get it for sometimes half the price. So in this video, let's see how much money I ended up spending. I spent a total of $292.21. I have one, two, three, four, five swimsuits and a jumpsuit. I grabbed the jumpsuit because it was on sale, like way marked down and it was really cute. So what I appreciate about swimsuits for all is yes, you buy the two piece as one set, but they will allow you to go in and pick different sizes for each piece. That's a lot of concern I hear in my comment section on these swimsuit videos that someone says, well, I'm an extra large on the bottom and a, you know, size 10 on the top. You can go in here and specifically pick what size you need for the top and the bottom. So obviously that's what I did too. Again, I tried to pick a wide range of styles because I know not everyone likes the same thing. The one thing that I want to say is that shipping was $20. The base shipping, $20. You didn't get free shipping for spending a certain amount of money. There wasn't a discount, anything like that. $20 for base shipping. Well, that would have put my order here too late for this video. So I upgraded shipping and paid $30 just so I could get this package here in time for the video. That is a lot of money, that's $30. You could buy a whole nother swimsuit for the price that I paid in shipping. Even the 20 bucks for shipping, I think is, it's just a little bit much because chances are I'm gonna return some of these, if not all of them, if I don't like them, but I don't get that shipping refunded when I return them. So just keep that in mind. I know I've, I've been on Swimsuits for All's website in the past when they have done free shipping, I'm pretty sure. So if you can, wait it out for that as well. Now that all that's out of the way and you've been staring at my roots for who knows how long, listen, this is what we're gonna look like for a little while because you can't get into a hair salon and I, I am not doing it myself. One time, I remember buying a box dye of blonde, doing it myself. I looked like I had a pineapple on my head. The next morning, I called a salon. I don't even remember what salon. And I was like, listen, I messed up big time. I need to come in. And they almost wouldn't take me because it was that terrible. Luckily, they did. But So we won't be doing it at home. We're going to wait it out because I want it done right. So there you go. All right, let's try on some swimsuits. I want to start with the jumpsuit because... This might be, this would probably was one of the things I was most excited for. So this is called the Ava Striped Racerback Jumpsuit. I grabbed it in a size 22-24 and I paid $35.62. So I'll list the prices that I paid on the screen versus what they cost on the website. Because like I said, you can always find a sale and I most certainly did. Okay, so it does have pockets. I do like the wrap top, you can snap if you didn't want so much out there. I thought that the stripes maybe would hide a little bit more because it's not snug, but it's almost that clingy material. I do think it's very fun. Here's what it looks like from the back. I don't know, I feel like it's a little bit big at the top. Look how low it is on the side. But then it's a little bit snug at the bottom. I guess that's kind of what you get with jumpsuits because you're, you know, you're buying one size, you're not specifically fitting parts of your body. Um, so I like the colors, I like the idea of it, but I don't know if it's the most flattering for me. Okay, <laughs> look at this color, first of all. I just took the straps off the front, they do come with straps, but this is how I saw it on the website and really wanted to try it. So this is called the 
Valentine's Salsa Bandeau Bikini 5832 for the set. I got each piece in a size 22. I think the bottom in a 22 was a great idea. Love it, love how high it is, love the ruching, everything about it, the color, I just really like. But the top, I think a size smaller would just make me feel a little bit more secure because not that it's too big, but it's just a little bit loose, especially if you're gonna wear it without the straps. So it does have padding, no underwire. Yeah, I think just one size smaller, like maybe if I grab the 20, I would like it a little bit more. What do we think about this one? It's cute, right? I think it's cute. It took some work to get into this one. So this is called the Haven Sarong Front One Piece Swimsuit in a size 22, $31.32. Look, I'm not going anywhere. How pretty is the pattern? This is the sarong front that they're talking about. It just wraps over to give you a little bit more coverage. This, okay, let me, let me get situated. Okay, I like the colors. I like the idea of this in the front. I do think it provides a little bit more comfort for someone who may want something covering their front, but they still want a true one piece. So this one I like, it does have padding, no underwire. It is secure up here. <laughs> Nothing is getting through that. I like the thick straps too. This is very pretty. I mean, for 32, less than $32 on sale, I think this is really pretty. And here's a look at the back. So that sarong front doesn't extend to the back. It just looks like a one piece from the back. A little bit of a dip, which I'm, I don't mind. I like the placement. This one I like because you, you as in me, <laughs> I could still get the tan that I want. And I'm just like, I'm in this swimsuit. Literally, I am not going anywhere. Do I like this one more than the two-piece first one? I think I might. Y'all, these one pieces, I'm trying to tuck my underwear <laughs> into the back. <sighs> hey girl, oh my God. Okay, it's not gonna happen. All right, these one pieces are definitely tough to get on, but you're not going anywhere in them. This is, Am I in everywhere? We are in everywhere. Okay. Here we go. This is called the Navy Striped Plunge Surplus One Piece Swimsuit in a size 20. I paid $36.29. That's probably why this one was a little bit more tough to get into because it is a size 20. But how flattering is this? Hmm. It does have padding, no underwire. This is so flattering. Oh my gosh, I love the navy and blue stripe. I think is really, really pretty. Again, the thick straps I really like. I also like how low it is. How does the back look? I haven't really looked at it yet. Um, just by feeling, I feel like it's a little bit... Yeah, I think I need this one in a size larger. But if I have this one at my house, it's not terrible. I feel like the shape that it gives me is just so good. This one, less than 40 bucks. This is a nice swimsuit. I know I keep saying that, but Swimsuits for All, in my opinion anyways, is a really nice brand. And I like this. I like the low cut. I like how it brings everything in. I like the solid on the bottom. Okay. I like this one too. Do we like this one better than the tropical one? I think so, because everything I get tends to be tropical these days, and this is just different. All right, y'all. Is that, is that done right? It is? Oh. oh my gosh. Why don't, I feel like they just keep getting better and better. So this one is called the Wild Waves Cutout Underwire One Piece Swimsuit in a size 22, $43.20. Is this our favorite? It does have underwire. It does have padding. Oh, just look at it for a second. Okay, I, I kind of love this in the front. The back, we're not going to like so much. But the front is very pretty. You're going to have quite a strange suntan if you do decide to lay out in this. But I love that it has the underwire. And here's a look at the back. I mean, I get the, oh, that does come undone, I guess, if you need help getting into it. It's just this shows right here. 
But I guess if I'm wearing two pieces, what's the difference, you know? Yeah, I feel like they just keep getting better and better. Do we like this one more than the navy? I like the idea of it, but that navy one, I know I'll wear more often because just because of the way that it makes me cinch everything in. It just feels like everything's super secure. This one at the top is a tad bit, I know it doesn't look like it, but it's a tad bit, it's puckering a little bit right there. Okay, all right, we're gonna put the last one on. All right, here we go. This is the last one. The padding, I've been trying to work it and straighten it out. It's not really working out in my favor so much. I mean, it looks more normal now. This is called the Confessa Blue Crush Halter Bikini Top and bottom in a size 22, 5508. Okay, I love the light blue. These bottoms are significantly tighter than the pink bottoms, even though they're the same size. I like the top. I think the top is very flattering. I would have liked the bottom to be the whole fabric too, I think. Just, I think it would be more comfortable because it would be a little more forgiving. It would hide a little bit more. I do think these kinds of tops are more flattering on me, in my opinion. It's very comfortable. It does have padding, as I mentioned. No underwire. This bit, however, down here, while it's cute, the minute I sit down, it's gonna roll. Because that's just how my body's set up. <laughs> so the minute I sit, it's gonna roll. So here's a look at the back. Sorry if you see scrunchiness. I'm trying to just shove, like just tuck my underwear in there any way possible. This is the tag, by the way. What do we think about this one? All right, now that I'm really, really sweating, let's talk final thoughts. So I spent 300 bucks, which is pricey, but again, swimsuits for all is really great quality. My favorite by far is the navy stripe one. And how much did I pay for that one? $36.29, so I'll probably end up keeping that one, though this one is really pretty too. I just don't really care for the back, and I don't see myself wearing it as much as I would the navy one. So, as always, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Everything that you just saw, I will also link in the description box, that way if you're interested in something, it is there. I'll also leave the size that I tried on. My measurements are there as always. Sorry if I'm like real glistening right now but it's hot okay and that's a wrap <laughs> i have hair everywhere i'm sweating there's swimsuits all over the place that you can't even see thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up be sure to hit the subscribe button and i will see y'all in my next one bye